Can you believe I literally printed out the fucking recipe? Like we're in literally like the middle ages using a printer. Anyways. <laughs> I drank so much coffee, I literally feel buzzed. Like, I literally, like, is that? I don't even know what being buzzed feels like. Because I'm, like, 12, so. Hey, guys, what's up? And welcome back to Cooking with Emma. <sighs> Why are you acting like that? Also, I have leftover, like, acne spot treatment on my nose that I forgot to wash off this morning. So, um, I mean, yeah. Or it didn't get. I haven't done one of these in a while because I kind of neglected it because I was like, eh, it's a stupid concept. But I thought I'd bring it back for a few reasons. Number one, my birthday is coming up. Yes. Yay, my birthday. It is May, my birthday month. So far this month, I have not celebrated myself once. If anything, I've actually abused myself. Now, not really. Like, I just. They ask you how you are and you have to say you're fine when you're not oh, really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I thought that today I would make myself some little birthday cupcakes for my B day. I just realized that I never actually tell you when my birthday is. And so I just like to announce here formally that my birthday is on May, May 22nd. 22nd. Just keep that in mind. When that day rolls around, wish me a happy birthday. Make me feel special. Um, send me money. Send me that money. I might even start a GoFundMe called Make Emma's Birthday the best birthday ever, donate all of your parents' savings, all of their retirement funds, and make me feel special, everybody. Um, thank you so much. May 22nd, a day for the books, a day to put down in your calendar, a day to never forget. It is the best day of the year because it's the day all about me, and I am the only human being on this planet that actually matters. So, all right. Keep it in mind, baby. Another reason why I thought we'd do a little cooking with Emma today is because you guys- I know it's disgusting that my cat is on the counter, but trust me, I wiped off the counter before I started cooking, okay? Trust me, I did that. I did, I did that. I'm just gonna- You guys have been sending me shit tons of stuff for cooking with Emma. Let's do a little haul, shall we? First, we got an electric mixer, which I am so- excited about. I didn't even wash it. I'm just gonna use it unwashed. So if I die, I don't care. Yes! If you guys are OG cooking with Emma watchers, you know that I used to have to mix stuff like with a whisk. So I would have to like take a whisk like this and like mix it really fast and it was like not good. No, no. I'm literally so tired. My arm is burning. 30 more seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Uh, my arm! Yeah, it wasn't good. Another thing, next thing, speaking of whisk, the next thing in our haul, this beautiful golden whisk. Like, okay, next, someone got me a adorable, adorable little oven mitt set, okay? This is adorable. And the last things that you guys got me were some aprons. I don't even know which one I'm gonna wear today. Do you know what? I'm gonna wear all of them. Okay, I'm glad we figured that out. It is so cute. Wait, why is it like that? Oh my god, look how low it goes. Look how literally, like, wait, is that normal? Oh no, oh, I see. Here's apron number one. This one's a little bit more stylish. Next one is this, oh, this is just amazing. Don't be afraid to take a whisk. <laughs> Fucking funny. I'm literally gonna be wearing four, what are these called again? Aprons. I am an idiot. Have I been calling it robe? I don't know if I've been calling it aprons this whole time. We're gonna see about that. What just happened? Okay, next one. This one says, danger, Emma's cooking. Haha, -ha. I'm offended. This one actually says the same thing as, but don't be afraid to take whisks. So if you guys sent me something for cooking with Emma, thank you. And it's because of you that I'm back here doing another one. Well, it's also because my birthday's coming and I deserve it. It's my birthday, so naturally we're gonna be doing some sort of cake. Cake is good, but what's better than cake? Cupcakes. So today we're gonna be making cupcakes. I think the whole thing with like birthdays, it's always so funny, like when you're a kid and stuff, it's like on your birthday, it's like, I want my favorite type of cake. And everyone has their favorite type of cake. Well, I'm a little bit different with what my favorite cake is because no one else has the same favorite cake as me. My favorite cake was always lemon cake. Yes, I had issues as a child. If y'all are new, basically what we do here is, is that you watch me bake, and then by the end of the video, you're like, I just wasted 10 minutes of my life. You don't really benefit actually at all. So you can click off now, because I already got my ad money, so that's good. You've already given me your gift to me. So you can just click it off if you want. 
All right, for all my homies still here, let's just hop right into it. I have this whisk. I've used this before, this isn't a new thing, but still thought I would bring it out here because it is fucking awesome. What if I just wrote it, like, like kind of like, this reminds me of like a witch. Oh. Like, you know, like witches on their broom, but I'm like a cooking witch. Oh. That's so fucking cool. Now, I'd really be onto something if my broom wasn't facing the wrong way. <laughs> Let's first talk about our lemon cake that we're gonna be making today. It's vegan. I choose to make vegan things because if I don't make it vegan, then I get roasted. And I'm not in the mood for that because guess what? It's my fucking birthday and I'll cry if I want to, but I don't wanna cry. So don't fucking roast me in the comments. Oh my God, I'm tired already. Like we haven't even started and I'm already tired and sick of it and like regretting. Do you know what? I have to do all of the dishes for this. After this is over, like I have to do all of the dishes and it makes a lot of dishes. I should probably set the oven. What's even the degrees? 350, I don't care. <laughs> It actually took me a really long time to find a recipe for this type of cupcake because surprisingly, there isn't a lot of vegan lemon cake recipes. After thinking about it for a while, I realized it's because no one likes lemon cake. Where did she go? After probably like 20 minutes of searching online, I finally found this website and I knew that it was gonna be a winner by the headline. I mean like, if it's good enough for him, it'll be good enough for me, you know what I'm saying? But going into this, I actually spent also more time trying to find this recipe because I really wanted it to go well. I actually went and I read some of the reviews of this lemon cupcake and I was so pleased to see that all of the reviews were really, really positive. I thought we'd go through some of them today. <clears throat> Anyways, these cupcakes are delicious. I made them for my daughter's birthday dinner a couple of nights ago and they got such rave reviews that I made a double batch for a party she's having tonight. Well, number one, I'm glad that the cupcakes are delicious. I am glad because that tells me all I need to know. That tells me that it's a winner and that tells me that I should make them. But where I got a little bit triggered about this was that like, this mom is like fucking bragging about the fact that her daughter has like two birthday parties. Like I'm not even gonna have one birthday party. The daughter has a birthday dinner and then she also has another party that she's going to tonight. Okay, also yes, I did print this shit out for two reasons. Number one, actually only one reason. I only printed it out for one reason. It's because once my hands get dirty, I'm not gonna be able to touch my phone to look at this shit, so I print it all out. Pretty genius if you ask me. Colleen says, these look crazy good. I'm almost afraid to make them. Bitch, what's the worst that could happen if you make them? You'll eat them all in one sitting. Who cares? That's what menopause is for. I'm just assuming that all of the people writing these reviews are moms. Sarah says, these look delightful. I want to just bite right in. That's fucking gross. Whose mom's name is Sarah? I feel like Sarah is like the name of like a 12 year old girl every single time. I've never met somebody named Sarah who was older than 12. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just, ugh. I don't even like baking. I want to spoon feed that frosting into my mouth. Bitch. Calm down. <laughs> Fuck, I did not use a big enough bowl for this. Okay, no, it's good. So how have you guys been? I mean, I just wanna know, like, how have you been? Like, is your birthday coming up? Cool, I really don't care. <laughs> let's talk about my birthday. Oh my God, wait, I, I just realized that I forgot to show something in my haul earlier, so let's show that now. A bunch of super mini whisks, 20 of them. You guys are amazing because that is so cute. Now back to work because that's just irrelevant. Let's talk about birthdays. Personally, I think birthdays are fucking stupid. Also, I don't like getting older. I used to when I was little, I want, I wanted to be older so bad, and now I'm like older, and I'm like, well, I'm still 12, but oh yeah, you guys don't even know how old I'm turning, um, 12. Last year, I was also 12, but because I don't look any different, it makes it so that I'm just still 12. No, do you want to f this? I'm turning 17, which is funny, because I don't look like it. I want to be 16 forever. Being 16 is the funnest age, and it took me the entire year to realize that, too. I was like, being 16 sucks. And then now I'm like, fuck, being 16 was so fun. You have freedom because you can get your license and you can drive around. But then also, your parents still pay for everything. It's fucking awesome. Let's use the electric mixer. It says, mix it. What the fuck? Yo, big fat shout out to the person who sent me this shit because this just changed my life. Let me lick it. Okay, weird. I don't even know what we were talking about. I got distracted by my... I'm worried about me. What else should we talk about? I'm running out of content. Um, hmm, let's talk about 17. 17, the age that no one cares about. Like what happens to you when you're 17? When you're 16, you get your driver's license. And then when you're 18, you become an adult. But when you're 17, you're just a piece of shit. But I think it could be a good year. So I'm gonna try to make it the best year of my life. 
but I'm also getting really old and like I don't like being old I don't want to be old like what the f is gonna happen when I turn like 30 oh my god and I get wrinkles now I'll just get Botox so it's like fine but oh my god do you know what I <laughs> bitch I forgot to buy flour I might have some. Oh my god, this might change everything, guys. I literally think I forgot. Okay, get a fucking load of this. I have coconut flour. I have almond flour. I have green banana flour. What the fuck even is that? And I have tiger nut flour. Okay, none of these are regular flour. What kind of household do I live in? Hi, do we have like regular flour? If not, don't even worry about it, but do we? She said no. So now it's the game. We're gonna play a game called What Flower Do We Use? Um, I'm just gonna eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by, ew, I don't know. Something about saying that out loud makes me really uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna go like this. Almond flour. I purposely chose this one because it's the one that I feel like is the least likely to have error. Okay, like my life was a mess before. Like it's one thing to like mess up a recipe and like have shitty cupcakes on a normal day of the year, but like it's my birthday. You know what I'm saying? I like went grocery shopping for this video and I like forgot the flour. I would use this shit all day if I could. What's next? What's fucking next? Who knows these days? That was kind of deep. I'm kind of sad now. I'm kind of gonna get lazy now. I'm just lazy, I'm lazy town. Oh my God, where's my coffee? Do I, did I not? I could have sworn I made myself a coffee earlier. Oh my God, wait, yeah, I already drank it. What the fuck? Okay, I'm like trying to pay attention. I have the flower. <gasps> Did you guys just see that? Okay, it's okay. Ew. I can't get the sound out of my head. Let's taste the batter. I'm scared for my life. Ah! It tastes so good. Wait, what? It's perfect. This is a fucking birthday miracle. I can't get too excited though because it's all about what happens in the oven and that's when things are gonna get bad. So while I clean this up, let's talk about our feelings. Lately I've been thinking about how I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> um, you know, I've gone 17 years out of my life and I have been single the entire time. Is that gonna change anytime soon? Probably not. But I mean, hey, I haven't had to deal with getting hugs when I didn't want to have one. A hug? No one gives me hugs. So it's never like, I don't want to hug right now. You know, that's good. I have like nine cupcake pans, but I still thought it'd be a good idea to like order one on Amazon for this video and I didn't need it and my mom got mad. I hope I have cupcake liners. If I don't, that's gonna be bad, but it wouldn't be the first mistake we've made. Oh yes, finally something goes good for me. I only have three little liners. Um, so yeah, so no, we're doing good. Let's see, do I have any more? Oh my god, wait, do I have more? Hold on, I might have more. Oh my god, I do have more. That was actually really good luck for me. Like, I'm actually like scared because I'm like two good lucks in a row. I might die soon. Let's talk about birthdays in the past for me. I don't even really remember. I've never been somebody who likes birthdays. I like going to other people's birthdays. Why? Because they had to stress out and they had to plan it. Not me. I didn't have to sit around and plan it. The moral of the story here is you should try to get invited to other people's parties so that you, by the time yours comes around, you have no desire to even throw a party. I was also trying to think about what my favorite age so far has been, like being alive wise. And I think 16, like this year was an amazing year. Probably one of the best years of my life. But at the same time, I wanted to die for half of it. I'm really scared. The batter tastes good. It looks good. It's just, it all depends on what happens in the oven. If the chemical reaction doesn't occur properly, these cupcakes will end up being shit. And honestly, even if these turn out fucked up, at least I can eat the frosting and like cry myself to sleep. Glad that we figured that out together. <laughs> Don't tell your mommy. It smells like a barbecue outside because I have all my windows open because it's nice and warm out So yeah, it smells like a barbecue. How are you feeling about that people? Also, I got a little bit of batter on the string Which is just fucked up like that's not supposed to happen because you can't wash that Oh, this looks great. Okay, let's taste it This is so good this is Bitch Bitch Bitch. I literally don't even care how the cupcakes turn out anymore. This frosting is so good. Whatever, I don't care. This is my birthday miracle. I'll see you when the cake is done, okay? When the cupcakes are done. <gasps> Yay! Oh. Yay! First impression, it's intact, which is promising. I see we add some food coloring to this hoe. Can you shut up? No. Are you fucking, what the Oh, I'm just gonna leave it. Wow, this actually kind of looks cool. Like a little tie-dye action, a little tie-dye B-Day action. I've been filming for like three hours and I'm just done, so. <laughs> 
is my big B-Day cupcake. Oh, what the fuck? 